There are six illustrator techniques I use to make this thumbnail, and I'm about to teach you all of them. This abstract shape pattern is the easiest one. Simply select a shape and press down the tilde key on your keyboard, aka the squiggly line. Drag it around however you want. Play around with the fill, the color of the fill, and the stroke until you're happy. For me, I like to click a bunch of random shapes and change them to whatever color I please. I think this looks kind of like a Dr. Seuss type of effect. Keep in mind, you can do this with whatever shape you want. Whatever you do, you absolutely need to group all of these shapes together or else Adobe will think they are individual shapes. This is essential for layering and for the performance of your computer. But some interesting shapes are nothing without some interesting text, so let's learn how to edit specific letters in Adobe Illustrator. It's super simple. Create your type, right click on the type tool, and select touch type tool. Now you can modify any letter's placement, height, width, anything, their thickness, anything you want. Now don't think we're done with this text because we're going to come back to this a little later for something even cooler. But for now, let's slap some grain on the background of our thumbnail. Let's select that rectangle tool and rectangle that entire canvas. It doesn't get any harder than that. Let's just go up to effect and down to texture and over to grain. The grain menu should pop up and let's modify our intensity and contrast to whatever we want. Click OK and boom, you have a not so boring background for a thumbnail. But if you need something interesting to put on that thumbnail, some warped text might be your option. <laughs> let's just put some random text on the screen. You know what, that looks great already, but to make it even better, let's go up to Object, down to Envelope Distort, and Make with Warp. Uh, we can edit these however we want, I think this looks pretty cool already. But who am I to tell you what to do? Do whatever you want, man. Another interesting thing you can play around with is the horizontal or vertical distortion, and you can also play around with how much this effect is actually going to affect your text. I think that looks pretty cool, and you should also subscribe. And if you'll notice in my thumbnail, I had text going around that warped text, and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. All I did was make some random squiggly lines with the curvature tool, get that fill out of there, and uh, up the stroke a little bit. Now what do you say we right-click on the type tool and go to the type on a path tool, and Voila! You can type on whatever path you want. I recommend making sure the font size is whatever you want. Again, who am I to tell you what to do? Do whatever you want. Some people ask me what the hardest part of making videos like this is, and I always say, coming up with random text to put as fillers for your tutorial videos. Is that just me? Like, I genuinely don't know what to put sometimes. But anyway, do you remember how I said we were going to come back to that hello text from earlier? Well, here we go. By the way, I can just hold down that option key to duplicate it over to my warp text artboard. Now all you gotta do is go over to the puppet warp tool and just play around with it a little bit. I'll show you how. Make sure your text is selected and then make some anchor points with the puppet warp tool. Drag it however you want. I think this is one of the coolest effects we have here in Illustrator. Um, and you can do as little or as much as you want with it. Also a big fat letter O has to be my favorite piece of typography to do with this. Wait, did you think we were done? Because I still have one more bonus effect for you. But first we're going to need to visit the artboard tool and make a new artboard. Let's go ahead and create a shape. The more abstract, the better. Now I'm just joking with you. You can do whatever shape you want. Hopefully you're not getting deja vu when I tell you to right click on the text tool. And now you're going to go to the area type tool. Now all you got to do is click on your shape and boom, you should have some pretty nice looking type. Play around with the alignment. Never underestimate the effect that a cool alignment can have on a design. And there you have it. There is seven little tips for making a cool design in Adobe Illustrator.